If you are among those lucky homeowners in US who have some extra money left after paying their monthly bills, you have an interesting choice to make about your mortgage. You can do the strategy of making some extra payments on your mortgage, which will not change your monthly payment amount, but can reduce the overall duration of your mortgage. Or you can do mortgage recasting. This will lower your monthly payments, but not change the duration of your mortgage. So which one is better? What should you do? We are going to discuss that in this video. I will explain what exactly is mortgage recasting and we'll discuss why some people prefer to go with this option. Simply put, mortgage recasting is a process through which you make a lump sum payment to reduce your mortgage balance and then make smaller payments throughout the mortgage term. This is different from refinancing your mortgage because in mortgage recasting, neither your payment term nor interest rates are changed. You'll simply have a lower monthly payment. But now since you are paying lower and you're reducing the overall mortgage balance, obviously you'll end up paying lower on interest too. Let's understand this with a simple example. Let's say for example, you originally took a $350,000 mortgage that you have paid for about 10 years now. So now here is what is remaining on your mortgage. Original amount $300,000, original rate 4%, let's assume, original term 30 years. So the payment amount just for principal and interest will come to about 1671. Let's assume that's what you're paying every month. Now, after paying the loan for 10 years, maybe the remaining portion of the loan is about $280,000. So you have paid off the remaining 70,000 and you have 20 years remaining on your loan. Now you decide to recast this mortgage. To recast, you decided to make a lump sum payment of say $100,000 on this mortgage. We'll talk about from where you got that $100,000. So that changes your outstanding mortgage amount, but it won't change anything else like the rate or the remaining term. So here is how it looks now. This is what it was before recasting, but after recasting, now your outstanding loan amount is only $180,000. The remaining term, like I said, doesn't change 20 years. Interest rate doesn't change 4%, but the new monthly payment, which is calculated based on 180,000 will be only 1091. So it's changed from 1671 to 1091. So next 20 years, you will be paying only $1,091 per month for this loan. So what recasting does is amortizes your remaining amount, 180,000 in this case, over 20 years. Sounds tempting? Ready to recast your mortgage? Well, one important check that you need to do is to find out what type of mortgage you currently have because not every mortgage type can be recast. In general, all conventional loans and even jumbo loans can be recast, but FHA or VA loans cannot be recast. Here's the detail tip. Let's say you found out that your particular market is eligible for recasting or it looks like eligible for recasting. So here are the steps you need to take. First is simply contacting your lenders because not every lender offers the ability to recast the mortgage that you have with them. So it's important to know if they even offer that. They will also be able to reconfirm that your specific type of mortgage is eligible for recasting. Second is determining the amount needed. So first thing you need to do is check with the lender because they may have a minimum criteria that they will at least want say $10,000 or 10% of the loan amount to be prepaid in a lump sum if you're trying to recast your loan. Let's find out that first, the minimum value that the bank or the lender would accept. And then you can decide if you want to do a bigger amount, you can do that. For sure. Step three is to save the money that is needed for lump sum payment. Now you may have one windfall and from that you have suddenly may come into money or like everybody else, you may decide to save money with a targeted goal of recasting your mortgage. If you need some ideas on how to save money, check out this interesting video that I made. And once you are ready with the amount and ready to recast, you have to formally apply it to your lender for recasting your loan. See, most of the lenders will charge some fee, but this fee is like about $500. Uh, much lower than fee when you refinance your loan, for example. Even if you are eligible for recasting, and even if your lender offers that recasting option, recasting may or may not be right for your financial circumstances. Consider these things. If you have a good sum of amount available with you, you may want to put it towards your mortgage by recasting your mortgage. But do see if you have other more pressing needs for that money. But don't just let it set aside if you don't know what to do with it. It's better to spend on recasting than leaving it and just letting it whittle away. See, one of the main perks of recasting is that it reduces your monthly payments. And since the interest rate is not changing, the lender need to not worry about your credit score at that point of time. So it's very helpful if at that particular time your credit for some reason is not excellent and you're not likely to get the best rate from the market, recasting your mortgage may be better than refinancing. 
Likewise, you need to look at interest rate. If interest rates in your existing mortgage are much lower than what is being offered today, obviously you can't do refinancing. But recasting will allow you to lower your mortgage and the mortgage payment and eventually save on interest because you'll be paying lesser amount of loan. You can do all of that without going through the refinance process, which will potentially give you higher interest rate, which is prevailing in the market today. So here are some clues on how to decide whether you should recast or refinance. Mortgage recasting may be a good idea for you. If you have cash in hand, like you have saved up money or you receive some inheritance or gift, it may be an excellent use of the money to invest in your home equity and lower your monthly payments so that every month you have more income available in your hand. If you want lower monthly payments, recasting changes your loan terms so that every month you are required to pay lower amount. And like we discussed, if you find that your current credit situation will not allow you to qualify for lower interest rates that are available outside, here is one way to change your mortgage amount and payments without impacting the interest rate. But here are these other situations when you should rather go for refinancing rather than recasting. First is very obvious. If you don't have the lump sum money that is required for recasting, your only option is to go for refinancing. But do keep in mind that with refinancing, it's pretty much a new loan. So you are likely to pay some fee and closing costs, etc. But if you find lower enough rates, those costs can typically be added to your mortgage amount. Next thing is if you just want to get rid of your loan, if you want this loan paid in 10 years, recasting won't do for you. Refinancing may. You may re refinance a 30 year loan into a 15 year loan. Next is if you see that you have the right credit and the market environment is such that you're likely to get a lower rate. In those situations, refinancing is the option that will allow you to change your rate to the market rate, which if it is lower, then go with refinancing and don't recast. Finally, if you have better use of your cash, like you have cash, but you want to either invest or need it for something major like repairs or medical needs, then just refinance. Keep the cash with you. Do not put it under recasting. To summarize, here are the pros and cons of mortgage recasting. Pros, no credit check or no appraisal. It will reduce your monthly payments. It won't change or increase your interest rates and the fee for recasting are really lower than refinancing. So what are the cons with recasting? First is the type of loan. If you have an FHA, VA or USDA loans, they are simply not eligible for mortgage recasting. Another con is that it does require a large lump sum payment to be made. Not everyone can afford that. There is some fee that needs to be paid. And one of the biggest con, according to some people, is that it does not allow you to pay off your loan early. Like it's not a tool. You can always pay off your loan early, but this is not a method that leads you towards paying it early. Unless you look at the lower amount of mortgage, which in some sense allows you to pay it early because now the amount is lower. Whenever you come with money next, you may be able to pay it back. As a reminder, recasting your mortgage only changes the payment amount, so interest and principal. You still have your escrow, which is the taxes and insurance that remains unaffected by recasting. Recasting is a great option if you can afford one lump sum payment to reduce the overall mortgage amount and then save on lifetime of interest on the mortgage and reduce the monthly payment that you pay. With this method, you also can avoid all the expensive costs that come with doing a refinance. And if you are not eligible for a lower rate because of your credit or because of the prevailing interest rate, this option also allows you to change your mortgage terms without necessarily changing your mortgage rate, which may be favorable today. There's a lot of interest in mortgage recasting and they are becoming more popular, especially nowadays when the prevailing interest rate is around 20 year high. Remember, with this method, you get to keep your existing mortgage rates, which for some people are several points lower than prevailing rates. Like prevailing rates are about 7%. My personal mortgage rate is less than 3%. And lowering your monthly payments gives you a flexibility for next several years for the rest of the lifetime of your loan. Thank you for watching this video till the end. It clearly shows that you are serious about personal finance and also shows your commitment towards financial education. If you like this video, check out this other video on similar topic. I would also appreciate you can give us a like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.